Hello everyone. Welcome to the third session of final accounts of banking companies. In this video, I shall explain one question where you have to prepare the balance sheet along with the prescribed notes. So before we take up the question, let us see the format of preparing the balance sheet once again. On the top, you have to write balance sheet of dash company. In the next line, you have to uh, write as on which date. Okay. So here in the table, you will have four columns. In the first column, uh, we have to write the capital liabilities and assets. The second column is for writing the note numbers and third column for writing the current year values and the last column for writing the previous year values. Okay. So here under capital and liabilities, note number one is with regard to capital. Note number two is with regard to reserves and surplus. Note number three is with regard to deposits. Note number four for writing the borrowings. Note number five for writing the other liabilities and provisions. When you add from note number one to five, you get the total. So that total is the total of capital and liabilities. Then in the next section, you have to write the assets. Under that, note number six is with regard to cash and balance with RBI. Note number seven is with regard to balances with banks and money at call and short notice note number eight is with regard to investment note number nine advances note number 10 fixed assets note number 11 other assets so now when you add from note number six to eleven you get the total and that total is called total assets below this you have to write note number 12 with regard to contingent liabilities and the next item you have to write bills for collection but it does not carry any note number you have to just write the amount okay so this is the format in which the balance sheet has to be prepared now let us take up the question let me read the question now dana bank limited presents you the following balances as on 31st march 2016 from which you are asked to prepare its balance sheet in the prescribed form share capital 5 lakh profit and loss account as on 1 4 2015 55000 Cash credit and overdraft 20 lakh, term loans 25 lakh, bills purchased and discounted 5 lakh, current deposits 15 lakh, savings deposit 16 lakh, fixed deposits 24 lakh, cash in hand 1 lakh 50 thousand, calls in arrears 5 thousand, cash with RBI 2 lakh 50 thousand, money at call and short notice 4 lakh, investment in government securities 6 lakh. Land and building 515,000, furniture 75,000, interest accrued on loan 75,000, stamps and stationery 1,500, rebate on bills discounted 6,000, general reserve 30,000, statutory reserve 350,000, profit of current year before making the appropriations under section 17 is 3 lakh, borrowings from the bank 2 lakh 26,500, then unclaimed dividends 4,000. Balance with banks 2,50,000. Bills payable 3 lakh. In the next line, they have given claims against the bank not acknowledged as debt amounts to rupees 40,000. The bank's acceptance on behalf of the customers amounts to rupees 1,50,000. Bills for collection amounts to rupees 65,000. So, this now let's see where these items appear that is, under which note number which item has to be shown. Coming to the first item that is share capital, we have 5 lakh rupees. It should be shown in note number 1 under capital and liabilities. Okay. Then profit and loss account as on 1-4-2015. You can see here the current financial year ends on 31st March 2016. So here they have given the profit at the beginning of current year, which means that last year's profit has been brought forward at the beginning of the current year amounting to 55,000. So this should be shown in note number 2. So what is the adjustment we normally do for the current year's profit? We add the previous year's profit, which is brought for uh, brought out at the beginning of the current year. Then if there are any appropriations, we deduct that. So it should be shown in note number two. Then the third item, cash credit and overdraft. So here it means that the bank has given cash credit facility and overdraft facility to the customer. So it should be taken as advances by the bank. So it comes in note number nine. Then the next one, term loans. Again, here also bank has given term loans to the customers. So it should be shown in again note number 9 under advances. So next item is bills purchased and discounted. Here also the bills of the customers, the bank has discounted. So it is a kind of advances. Okay, so it should be shown in note number 9. So these three items appear in note number 9 under advances. That is cash credit and overdraft 
term loans, bills purchased and discounted. Then the next one, current deposit. So under capital and liabilities, we have deposits. So it should be shown in note number three under deposits. Then savings bank deposit also note number three. Fixed deposit also note number three. So these three items appear in note number three under deposits. The next one, cash in hand. We have note number six for writing the cash and balances with RBI. So we have to show this cash in hand in note number six. Then we have calls in arrears. So this is the adjustment which is to be made to the share capital. Okay, out of the total called up capital, some on some shares they did not receive the money. So this calls in arrears should be deducted from the total share capital, which is given as a first item that is 5 lakh. From 5 lakh, you will be deducting. Uh, 5000 okay yeah the next one cash with rbi so here again it should be note i um, mean shown in note number six that is along with the cash in hand then the next one money at call and short notice so this comes in note number seven investment in government securities so it should be shown under investment in note number eight the next one land and buildings Furniture, we have two items which is, I mean, which are fixed assets. So it should be shown in note number 10. Okay, these two, land and building and furniture under fixed assets, note number 10. Then interest accrued on loans. Here, on the loans which have been advanced by the bank, the interest is accrued. So it should be taken as other asset and it should be shown in note number 11. Then stamps and stationery, it's also a kind of asset, so it should be shown in but you cannot show that in note number 10 under fixed asset. So it should be shown in other asset under note number 11. Next item is rebate on bills discounted. So this is as good as we write income received in advance. We have discussed this uh, item in detail in the previous videos. So whatever the rebate on bills discounted you have at the end of the year that represents liability. So it should be shown under other liabilities in note number 5. Okay. The next one. General reserve, it should be shown in note number two. Then statutory reserve, also note number two. Profit of the current year before making appropriation. Again, it comes in note number two under reserves and surplus. Then borrowings from the bank, it should be shown in note number four. That is under borrowings. Then un, uh, unclaimed dividend. So here the bank has declared the dividend, but the some shareholders have not received it. They have not claimed it. So whenever they claim it, the bank has to give. So it should be taken as other liabilities and it should be shown under note number five. Okay. Then you have next item is balance with banks. It should be shown in note number seven along with the money at call and short notice. So money, balance with bank comes in note number seven. Then bills payable, it should be shown under note number five along with other liabilities. Okay. Then in the paragraph they have given claims against the bank not acknowledged as debt amounts to rupees 40,000. So it's a kind of contingent liability which may arise or which may not arise. So it should be shown in note number 12. Okay. The next one. The bank's acceptance on behalf of the customers amounts to rupees 1,50,000. Again, it is also a kind of contingent liability. If the customers honor the bill, then there is no liability for the bank. If they do not honor, then in such a case, the bank has to honor or accept that liability. So it should be taken as contingent liability. So total contingent liability will be 40,000 plus 1,50,000, which comes to 1,90,000. It should be no, uh, shown in note number 12 under contingent liability. Then bills for collection amounts to 65,000. This bills for collection amount does not have any note number directly. We have to write as a next item after note number 1. Okay. These are the informations given in the question. Now coming to the solution part. First, let us discuss how this uh, different notes have to be prepared. Coming to the first note that is share capital as we already discussed from 5 lakh amount of share capital we have to deduct the calls in arrears so the remaining balance of note number 1 is 4 lakh 95,000 okay which is shown here in the form A balance sheet 4 lakh 95,000. Then coming to the second note number that is reserves and surplus as we discussed in the previous slide so we have to show general reserve 
then statutory reserve and profit and loss account balance after making the appropriations okay here if you see statutory reserve they have given to the extent of a balance of 3 lakh 50 thousand so this is the balance before making the appropriation for the current year the rule says that out of the current year's profit 20 percent of the profit should be transferred to statutory reserve so that is the adjustment we have to show in note number two that is under reserves and surplus the old balance of statutory reserve three lakh fifty thousand first we have to write for that addition during the current year if you see current year's profit is three lakh okay 20 percent of three lakh comes to sixty thousand so that is the addition or transfer made to the statutory reserve current year so you have to add the sixty thousand to three lakh fifty thousand so you will get total amount of four lakh ten thousand okay then the next item we have to write general reserve uh, there is no hard and fast rule that we have to transfer every year if that item is given that so much percentage is transferred to general reserve only in such a case we can transfer but that information is not available so you can directly write 30,000 general reserve balance which is given in the question then we have to write profit and loss account balance First, we have to write the last year's profit, which is brought forward, amounting to 55,000. To that, if we have to add the profit of the current year, that is 3 lakh. Then, what is the appropriation we have made now? So, that is, we have transferred 20% of the current year's profit to the statutory reserve. So, from 3 lakh 55,000, we have to deduct the 60,000. The remaining balance would be 2 lakh 95,000. So, now, these three balances have to be taken to the outer column, that is, total balance of statutory reserve, general reserve balance and profit and loss account balance. So total of note number 2 comes to 7,35,000. The same is shown in balance sheet here, 7,35,000. Then the next note number 3, uh, as we discussed in the previous slides, uh, we have to write current deposits, savings bank deposit and fixed deposit. So when you add these three items, you will get the total of deposit, that is 55,000. So the same thing is written here, 55,000. The next one, borrowings from the bank. We have one item that is under borrowings. We are showing borrowings from the bank amounting to 2,26,500. Same thing is shown here. Then note number five. So here note, under note number five, that is other liabilities and provisions. We have to write bills payable amounting to 3 lakh, rebate on bills discounted 6,000, unclaimed dividend 4,000. Together it comes to 3,10,000 the same thing is shown here so now we have written from note number one to note number five so when you add these three five notes you get the total of 72,66,500 so this is the total of capital and liabilities in the same way now we have to write the notes with regard to assets so starting with note number six that is for writing cash and balance with RBI so we will right here cash in hand is 150000 then cash with rbi or balance with rbi is 250000 total amount comes to 4 lakh so here they have shown 4 lakh then the next one note number 7 for writing balance with banks and money at call and short notice balance with bank is 250000 money at call and short notice is 4 lakh which comes to total of 650000 so it is written here under note number 7 the next one Investment in government securities, it is shown under note number 8, under investment, amounting to 6 lakh. Okay, here it is shown 6 lakh. Then the next one for writing the uh, advances, under this we are writing cash credit and overdraft, 20 lakh, term loans, 25 lakh, bills purchased and discounted, 5 lakh. So together, the total of note number 9, that is advances, comes to 50 lakh. Okay, it is written here, note number 9. The next one for writing the note number 10 that is fixed assets under that we are showing land and buildings 5,15,000 then furniture 25,000 total comes to 5,40,000 it is shown here okay 5,40,000 then one more note that is for writing other assets uh, note number 11 here we write interest accrued on loan 75,000 stationery and stamps 1 lakh sorry 1500 total comes to 76500 it is written here okay so now after writing from note number 6 to 11 we have to add these uh, notes that is from 6 to 11 we get the total of 72,66,500 so now when you compare 
the total of capital and liabilities also we got 72,66,500 which is equal to total of assets. So our balance sheet has tallied. But below this we have to write two more items that is contingent liability and bills for collection. So note number 12 you can show here. In that you have to write claims against the bank 40,000 then acceptance on behalf of the customers 1,50,000 which comes to total of 1,90,000 it is shown here as a footnote contingent liability okay then one more item bills for collection uh, we had amount of 65,000 so same thing is shown here okay this is how we have to prepare the balance sheet along with the relevant notes okay so let's see the next question in the next video thank you for watching